This small tunnel, deep below a Cornish hill, was driven by miners to extract tin from a vein that ran through here. Remnants of the vein still exist above my head. Tin was one of the first resources to be mined in the UK, possibly as long ago as Phoenician times, some 3,000 years ago. Resources are one of the five geological topics in National Geological Screening, which RWM uses to assess the potential suitability of different regions to host a geological disposal facility. We use the term resources to describe valuable materials that can be extracted commercially from depths greater than 100 metres below the surface. As well as tin, they include other metals, oil and gas, coal and raw materials like gypsum which can be used in the building and paper industries. Some of the regions covered in the National Geological Screening have a long history of resource extraction. Indeed, the presence of extensive coal deposits in some parts of England and Wales are one of the main reasons why the Industrial Revolution began in the UK. Resources are an important consideration in National Geological Screening for two reasons. First, the process of resource extraction affects groundwater movement. For example, water in mines usually needs to be pumped out, causing changes to patterns of groundwater movement in the area around the mines. The need to drain Cornish tin and copper mines was one of the challenges that led to the development of the steam engine. Second, resources could be a target for future exploration, with the possibility that a geological disposal facility could be drilled into inadvertently. Resources would be taken into account further during the detailed siting of a geological disposal facility in order that international safety requirements are met.